Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. Oh, sorry, come here, Bobs. And Wellington was right here. Okay. Oh, you coming over here, Dob? Come here, baby. No, he's not, but this one will. <laughs> she's a little oh, your face. I squeezed his face. Wellington's over there. He wants a tree right now, but I'll get to him in a minute. And what is hysterical is Wellington is all over me until I start recording. And then he's like, no, 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 no. Talk to my people. Crazy. Okay, guys. I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And it's a big one. So let's go. I found the fake leather at... I get this question a lot, Patascala here in Columbus. So I got it in the white, I got two white, and then I picked up another brown and another navy, this one is the navy blue. I didn't really care for, I mean the black was fine, but I didn't want the black, but I wanted two of each of these colors, so I feel like I have enough to make a project. I will show you, they're not huge. But I think I want to make maybe a book sleeve. But, um, so this is the whole piece. So it's not large. But it is thin enough that I feel like, yeah, I could totally sew a bag out of this and even attach a zipper or whatever. It's thin enough for that, for sure. What are you doing, bud? Um, I can, I'm going to sew with it. I know that when I get time. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Um, but yes, I'm gonna sew with it. So, I found, and this is a good deal for $1.25. Hi, Dubby, you coming over? Yeah, I will hold you. Oh, I love you too. This is Wellington. He sits with me all day at work. I have to cross my leg so he can lay up on my, sit up on my thigh. My knee is scratched all out. Ow. I'm gonna have to clip those nails, sir. All right, let me pull some stuff over here. I hit the Jackie Pot this morning. Um, I picked up two of these and I need to get a couple more. I'm going, say it with me, I'm going to Canada. And I was talking with some of the fret folks on the group and we are going to make little giveaways for our table mates. So 10 to 12, I'm gonna try to make 12 to 15 and this is only six but these might even be too small for what i want to do so i have to kind of make the product first but i grabbed these while i saw them you're like girl what are they these are sheer organza they're just drawstring bags they're small they're in these were in the party section but i know they also carry them in the um wedding section but what also would be nice is those little wooden or those little white um, bags you put together. They're like cardboard and you put them together. And then I could put this down in it with some stuff. So I'm not sure yet, but I grabbed these for that purpose. Right, buddy? Yeah. Yes, you're cute. I like you. Um, so this morning I went to my Potascula store and a lot of this stuff came from them. I found the two spatula set. I'm giving this one to Sarah. And it has the bunny and the egg in pink and yellow. And then I'm keeping for me the bunny and it says Hoppy Easter. And then it says Cottontail. I don't know. I'm blind, guys. But I'm keeping that color for me. I think these are adorable and these will go in her Easter basket. And let me tell you, these are fantastic. I don't care what they say on them seasonally. <laughs> They're great, especially for um, like getting stuff out of jars or if you're just mixing up a little something, something. So I grabbed these. This was the last one in this color scheme, but that's okay. So I grabbed those. I found um, the pom-pom garland. It's okay. I mean, I like the yellow. I'm not a fan of the neon pink. And the blue and the green, I really won't use. So I just grabbed one yellow. I love yellow. And I thought this would be fun for something in the summertime to like um, 
stitch on maybe. I don't know. I just thought it was fun. You get three yards, which is a fair amount for $1.25. And I didn't get the other colors. I have plenty in white. And I think I have some red and green from Christmas still. So this was fine. I just wanted to show you. So I grabbed that for crafting. And then I found the fire starters. I don't, I honestly don't know how much a box of these cost. These are the Duraflame. Um, I usually start my fire with a Duraflame log, but for uh, if you're outside and you have a bonfire or a fire pit or you go camping or if you go backpacking, you can chop this up and just bring a little piece of it. I wouldn't carry the whole thing because it's a little heavy, but I grabbed two of these for fire starters because I don't need a whole case of them and that's what you would have to buy at you know, like Home Depot or something. But I honestly don't know if $1.25 a piece is a good deal or not, but it was definitely convenient. You can also, um, when we were at our Airbnb, this is what they had in the fireplace for us to start. And they just had some kindling and then larger logs. So you can do that. And these are fantastic. I feel like if you're gonna buy them by the case, that's probably gonna be a better deal. But if you just need one or two, you know, then that's, obviously a good deal i found these i love these i love these for a hundred million reasons one there's no glitter they're not overly sparkly and saccharine sweet they're twine wrapped around an egg and then i got the purple the pink and the blue remind me of like baby shower pink and blue so i went with the green and the purple I love a pastel for spring. I love this green to go in with all my greeneries that I put out in the spring, summer, and I can just slip these picks. They're on a stick. You can just slide them right into greenery and then with the end of the season, or if you don't want the stick, you can just cut it off at the bottom and then put these in a tiered tray or something. And you do get four. Um, they, they didn't have a lot of selection, like one of these purple ones you can see a little bit. But again, I'm probably gonna stick these in my tiered tray and just slide them in with some greenery. And so it'll be perfectly fine. And a couple of those um, carrots would be nice. Take a uh, skewer and glue it to the back or the bottom and you can slide those carrots in as well that we got a couple weeks ago that I swear are bigger than last year's. I need to dig out my stuff. And then the other thing I picked up um, in the Easter section are these little clear plastic eggs. They have like the mermaid or the dragon scales on them, fish scales, if you will. I love the clear eggs to put candy and stuff in and also to just put in my decor. Um, I like the, the more simplicity of these than I do say the um, opaque ones, but that's just a personal preference. And I only got one pack because that's really all I will need since I don't eat candy. One. And two. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't eat candy. <laughs> I found an egg shape wreath form, which I think is super fun to go with the Easter Bunny shaped wreath form. And can you imagine putting them like side by side and making one big wreath for your door? But to go, I also found these. They had it in the egg, I think a chick and a bunny, but I don't know if you can see up close, it's wood grain. It's a wood grain paper, but the reason I thought it was really cool is it, it fills the whole inside of this form. So if you did something with bows and ribbons or even like um, burlap tied all the way around the outside, you could print something on this and attach it in the back and it would fill in that whole center and then you could write something on it. I thought that was pretty neat and a good pairing for um, some kind of a decor. If I get to it, I'll get to it. This is a very busy time of the year for me guys at my day job. <laughs> I know they expect me to work and we're talking about that because that's rude, this whole working thing. Um, have I haven't mentioned, there's no rhyme or reason to any of this. Um, my one store brought out the, the little um, gold toe socks again, and I love a black and gray sock. I just love a neutral, but these have a little detail, so you get the little roses on a gray background. And then the second pair is just plain gray. I also like up here that it doesn't seem as tight and restricted, and when you wear it, it has a little um, 
eyelet or scallop detail to them. And honestly, two pair of gold toe socks for $1.25 is crazy. These are regularly $12 for two pair. So those are just for me. Now I started Christmas shopping and I got these for my brother, not Sarah's dad that's on the air freshener. My other brother, the one that I get the big golf shirts for, um, he works at the part-time job where I work as well and we have to have black socks. But he also has like a thicker leg and foot. He's had a lot married to medical issues and I think these are gonna be good for him. These are non-binding comfort. So if you have a thicker ankle or a thicker calf, these are not tight at all. They're very loose knit up here. So they won't be binding. Um, and they have a really nice uh, pad on the bottom. Like they're, it's a nice thickness, but not overly thick. And these are not binding socks. And regularly these were $14. So I grabbed two packs. And I'm gonna give them to him for Christmas because I think he said he had just bought uh, new socks for our part-time job. So I'm like, well, these are perfect Christmas present material. So I'll hold on to these for him um, because yeah, I mean, these are, like I said, regularly $14 and the socks that do more, fresh care, odor, oh, they are, they control odor they're non-binding and they're cushioned and they're moisture wicking. And it says reverse toe seam. So the toe seam on these is on the outside so they don't bother your feet. So these are a nice man, men's socks or ladies. If you have a larger foot, look for these. So that goes into my box of Christmas stuff because I have one of those. It's true, I do. I, it's actually this box here probably, we'll see. Okay. Now, oh, I had a couple of things to show you that I got at Target for a reason. Now with the increased pricing of the Dollar Tree, some of your Easter candy might be cheaper at Target or other stores. Like this was a dollar for the Reese Pieces. I get one for Sarah every Easter. And, you know, if they had them at Dollar Tree, it would be $1.25. So Start looking elsewhere for candies and stuff because you're gonna definitely find prepackaged goodies. Like they had the um, Reese eggs for a dollar, and you know it's just a quarter, but dollars exist outside of Dollar Tree. And then for Luna, this was from the um, Valentine's clearance. It was 89 cents. She's a little Chihuahua blend so she'll love this she has a lammy at her house so i got her that i got her and her mom got her one and i got her one for here and it's just lamb chop and it was 89 cents so i grabbed that for her easter basket and we'll keep it here so she has toys and then i got this four pack also for 89 cents from target um just little tiny tennis balls that we can play with when I have her here. And she has a whole basket. Please don't think this dog does not have toys. She has a whole basket, but sometimes, you know, she needs some fresh toys. Um, just like I get the cats fresh toys and I make her little Easter basket for here. So I'll get her some treats and stuff as well. Trust me, at her house, she has plenty. But I just wanted to, as a reminder to me and to you to keep your eyes open, um, dollar, product you know the dollar tree is now a dollar 25 but the, there are plenty of dollar products around so keep that in mind um i did get sarah this cookie for her easter basket she really enjoys them the last two that i got her i think i got a one for christmas and one for valentine's day and so i grabbed her this one and she said they're good so put it in her easter basket for her also for Easter, we'll just do the candy, I don't have much. Uh, for her Easter basket, they also came back out with the chocolate covered pretzels. I'm not sure if she liked them, but they're cute, so. If she doesn't like the candy that I get her or the food that I give her, she passes it on. Just be aware that I always check with her first um, and I'll just say, hey, if you don't want it, pass it on. And she's like, I will. So I grabbed her just some pretzels for her Easter basket. And girl loves some jelly beans. So this year I decided in her Easter basket, I'm gonna pick up all the little packages of jelly beans that I can find that are different. So I already got the Starburst. I already got the Peeps. 
and I got the sour warhead watermelon ones or whatever they're called the sour watermelon and then I found Fruit Loops now do not let Dollar Tree fool you these are in a Dollar Tree box like the regular Palmer's candy comes in and I reached in because I saw jelly beans and I was like hot diggity dog these are Fruit Loop jelly beans and I've never seen these um, and they do come, I don't know how many different flavors. It doesn't say. I don't know how many different flavors you get. Oh, one, two, three, four, maybe five, five or six different flavors. But so I grabbed her the Fruit Loops. I'm almost done with her Easter basket for candy. And then I found the Sweet Tart jelly beans for her. And I, I'm just getting her bunches of this size jelly bean to put in her Easter basket. And then I'll get her some Reese's Pieces. Oh, I mean, I got her Reese's Pieces and I'll get her some, um, maybe some Cadbury eggs and some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That's what I was looking for. So I grabbed her those. So I think that's a lot of candy for her, which, I mean, these last forever. And again, she's a teacher. And sometimes she takes the stuff to school and shares it with her kids or her co-teachers. So that's fine. That is fine with me. Um, Easter, the last of the Easter, I think, unless I pull something else out. Oh, I have two Easter things left. Um, I found these little shapes in the eggs, which I think are totes adorable. And you get 14, just like the other ones. And I can't wait to do, oh, Speaking of eggs, fun fact, at Target, in the dollar spot, they have the bead garland like the Dollar Tree, but theirs are $5. Now their beads are shaped like an egg, but they had a white and brown one that I almost bought. And I said, girl, that's $5 for one. And it's not even as long as the Dollar Tree. So just a heads up, um, if you see the Dollar Tree ones, I digress. I grabbed some of these for crafting crafting purposes and then they came out with these signs again for Easter I've seen them in this with the Easter Bunny and then they had a like blue one I think that may have had an egg I'm not 100% sure but I liked the natural and I'm gonna take my Cricut and put something I have a spot for this I have a narrow spot over here that these kind of signs hang perfect on but I loved the Easter Bunny. Cut out here and we'll do some pink lettering. So I grabbed that for crafty purposes. Now, I think that's it for Easter, I think. Um, I did find, I didn't find, I mean, I was, I picked up these, which is a kitchen and bath and you get two drain stoppers. I need one for my kitchen sink so I grabbed that, which this will also work in my bathtub. So, oh, you guys can't see the fire or the cat. Um, so I grabbed these. I'm wondering, I hope it's like the flexible. Yeah, that one is not. I don't know how well they're gonna work, but they were just a dollar, but they're kind of hard plastic. So we'll see, I'll try them out. I really just needed this one for my kitchen sink. So I don't know. It's not like the silicone, but we'll see if it works because, you know, I took, so I used to keep a um, dish pan in my sink, but it gets kind of gross. And I was like, I don't want to keep that in here anymore, but I use it to soak things. So that's why I got that. You don't care. I just need a sink drain. Um, I got one more of these because I need just plain water. I have a snake tongue San Severa plant or a mother-in-law's tongue. It's the ones that go straight up. And the tips on a couple of them are getting brown. And when I looked it up, it said it was dry. And my house is very dry. So I got to mist it with water. I have two of them. So what I'll do about once a week is just mist them up with some water. And I didn't have a plain... Um, ooh, I didn't have a plain can water squirter. Uh, for Sarah, I found the Miss, uh, no, this is Betty Crocker. Guys, this is two pounds of pancake mix. Two pounds. Can you believe that? And it's good until May. 
Um, she, my girl likes some pancakes, and these are the um, add milk or water, and that's what she likes. So I grabbed that for Sarah. I'll send it home with her when I see her next on Monday. So I grabbed that for her, which is a fantastic deal if you see it. So I grabbed that, and then I found for her the Dunkaroos cereal. Somebody left a comment, and I appreciate it, about the marshmallows and some of the cereal not potentially being vegetarian if they use gelatin. So I told Sarah to make sure she checks the box, and she said she does. So, And again, that goes back to I buy this stuff for her. And I tell her, do with it what you want. And if you don't want it, don't take it. And I will do something with it. And she's okay with that. So we, we work it out at my house. Um, I grabbed some more of this salsa. This is for my trip coming up because I ate the other one. I love this salsa. And for me, this size jar, perfect size. May not be the best value, but it's good. Okay, this is so interesting to me. This is definitely a new item, and it is a Dollar Tree item. It is Floral Garden. It's metal ribbon, like it's tin. I saw one opened up, and there was just a couple left, but I grabbed this one. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. It's going to go on something wood, I think. And they had three different designs. But, and you only get... Oh, four and a half feet. That's a lot. To I want to frame something in with it or use it. I just think this is so fun. And it is, it's metal and it's sharp. So be careful if you pick it up. So I got the one with like the little finials because I felt like it was something I would like. It really much, really much, it very much reminds me of something that is, what's that? Steampunk type material, but it's, and it almost feels tarnished. I love it. So I grabbed one of those. I just thought one is, is ideal. Um, I grabbed 10 of these. I did not clear the shelf, but I am getting ready to um, do my hall closet. It's a mess. It's, I use it as a pantry to store like cleaning product and all, oh, it's a disaster in there. And I just keep shoving things. So I'm like, you know what, girl? You need to, I'm going to show you what they look like. You need to get that organized. And these are clear, which I love. And they're relatively flat. I mean, there's a little flare to it, but there's enough of a surface that they'll hold a fair amount of stuff. And it's just cleaning products, sponges, and cleaning sprays, and most of that kind of stuff. And I also keep, if I have flour, or anything like that see here this is my box and I'm putting Christmas presents in it and this is the start of Christmas um I do have a small amount of flour and sugar for when I do baking but since I haven't been in the office for two years I really haven't been baking so I need to purge all of that stuff out of the closet so that's that's happening very very soon I'm leaning over this way sorry I'm sure I'm not giving you the best angle, but I have to reach some stuff over here. Okay, just a few more little things. Maybe this wasn't as big as I thought, but I swear it is. Okay, I found some of the Kodak AA batteries, which is a good name brand. Batteries you always need on hand. I have a little container that I just keep them in. I do have rechargeable batteries, but sometimes I just need a AA battery. So I grabbed those just to have. Um, I found some makeup. Oh, guys, this is called Wanderlust. Look at this palette. I am going to open this out of the plastic. It's by um, Flower, and that is Drew Barrymore's makeup line. And they do get a, generally get stuff from her makeup in there. But this palette is everything. It's... And the reason I like it so much is it's my colors. I'm taking the tape off here. This is the colors I will wear. I'm a very neutral, um, neutral wearing eyeshadow person, but there's also a little sparkle in here and I want you to be able to see it. Okay, here we go. And it's just a lovely, okay, there we go. A lovely palette and look at this just, it's neutral, but there's a sparkle to it. Guys, I'm, I, I'm in love with these colors. Um, so you don't, 
it is cardboard, which I find interesting, but you don't get a brush when you usually, when you get a palette. It does have the magnetic closure, which is nice. And it just says Wanderlust Eyeshadow Palette, New York City, Midnight Manhattan, Intense Color Payoff, and City Inspired Looks. That's what they're calling these colors, but I love that. Because I love a little sparkle, but I also like a neutral palette. So these are for me. I grabbed those. And then I got this Wet n Wild palette, which I feel like I might have purchased before. Um, I love that it's cruelty free. I don't know if her stuff is cruelty free. I need to look that up. They're not advertising it as such, but um, and meaning it doesn't have the little bunny on it. Um, I picked this up. I think my little cousin will appreciate it. And it also has, but it has some neutrals down here and some sparkle. And who doesn't love a color palette, right? And then I found the chapstick. So we have moisture and tint with an SPF 15. So I think these are all the same product in different packaging. So I've seen three different packages, but they're all the same product. So this color is very, very, I'm not gonna open them because I'm not gonna use them right now. This is more of a summer color. And let's be honest, I haven't been wearing lipstick because I wear a mask everywhere I go. Now this I'm excited about, this is Merlot. Maybe we should try this on. See if it is that dark. But I, um, oh, looks kind of dark. Uh-uh, not too dark. I like it. It's a nice winter color. Mm-hmm, and it feels good. My lips are dry. Okay, I love this a lot. And it's also total hydration, and I feel that hydration, but you also get a little bit of color. And then they have the Natural Lip Scrub and Exfoliant, which is also by Chapstick. And I don't, I can open this because it's going to be for me. I am obsessing lately with the lip scrubs. I find it interesting that it has a color to it. And maybe I'm doing lip scrubs wrong, but I usually do them at night. Massage a small amount onto wet lips in a circular motion. Rinse or wipe off with a damp cloth. Seal in moisture with a chapstick. So, it, uh, yeah, I don't understand the... Um, oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that was it. Okay. I was like, what did I just do? It's sugar plum. It's conditioning lip scrub. I use them up fairly regularly at night before I go to bed and then I put a deep moisturizer on. So I'm working on one right now that I got for Christmas and then I will, and I have also a set that I got from the Dollar Tree and then I will work my way through here. You don't get a ton in there, but your lips are small. You don't need a ton. And then this is also Chapstick Total Hydration. And this is the, so I think they're all part of the same line. They might just come in different packaging, except for the scrub. So I grabbed those for me, and then the makeup will be given away to somebody. Okay, um, boring. I got tissues. Um, I prefer these eight packs. The other ones are thick, and I have a hard time like blowing my nose. <laughs> so I just like these. I keep them in my car. That's what these are for. So if I need to blow my nose, I can do that in the car. I found the yard tools. I did buy one pole, but it's over there. So I will tell you, like this feels very sturdy to me. It feels very much like it's going to do a good job. The only concern I have, if it's even a concern, is not this piece but the broom handle that it, i'm trying to see if i can get this off well never mind this comes with the plastic but let's grab the handle which i'm pretty sure is the same as the broom handle it's not the best 
like this is definitely could break and then on here I mean this is this is not bad quality guys so I live in a condo if you don't know if you're new and so I don't do yard work but I have mulch oh, there's tape over this one too I have mulch outside and I have a cat not that one but the other one that's in his little bed that one over there in his little bed that goes out front with me and he likes to dig in the mulch and he gets it all over my sidewalk so ooh, I feel like I need to have just a small something okay okay it screws on there nicely I mean it's it's on there and this I think will be perfect for just cleaning up my mulch bed and yeah I'm excited I did get the hangers in the uh, houseware section, but they also had the hangers in the hardware section. So I got this rake and then I got this rake to also deal with mulch, but rocks as well. And this one is pretty sturdy. And then just because I grabbed this little shovel and maybe if I need to like edge my mulch, I don't know. And then I just grabbed one broom handle. I mean, I'm sorry for a dollar twenty-five. And here's the other thing too: if you have little people that like helping you out in the yard, or you want them to help you in the yard, these are perfect because they're functional, but they're not overly big, and they're not going to hurt them. Like this is not sharp; it's just going to help them get the leaves or whatever. And I mean, these are fun. I don't know that I would try to use this to rake my whole yard. That's why I bought a condo, so I don't have to rake my yard but it's there if I need it. So I just grabbed that. I thought that was a fantastic deal for $1.25. Now my store didn't have the hoe. Who are you calling a hoe? No, nobody. Okay, the last thing that I purchased were some stickers. Um, and I know I am just organizing here, guys. I know I've said I don't need stickers and I don't, but um, I grabbed these for my planner actually. So on this side, there's some small ones, but I want to make a dashboard in one of the months of summer and use these with my laminator. So you get, how many? I don't know how many, but what it's showing that you do is you put these on the wall and then you sit these like up here. But I just wanted it for the cacti because I love me a cacti. And when I do my planner one month, I'm going to do a spread with that. So I grab that and then to kind of go along with the same thing I got. just These are just some greenery stickers, which I think are so fun. Again, for my planner. Now, they those were Dollar Tree brands we've seen before. This, do this store that I was at has Momoko. Oh, these are Greenbrier. I'm kind of shook, and I'm not going to lie. They had a bunch of these stickers in, and I swore in my head these were not Dollar Tree, but they are. So I got these for Sarah. She's got a rainbow theme in her classroom. Now she likes the more muted rainbow, but this is fun. And these have like little jewels on them. And then I got us both this set of stickers and it just says namaste. And there's a very boho feel to it. Now it says you get 66 in this pack. So we're going to see. I'm still shook that this is a Greenbrier product, guys. Nothing wrong with Greenbrier. I've just never seen this. And they're marketing it with a different label, a Momoko. And they have like puffy stickers like donuts filled with glitter. They had eggs and bacon. I mean, they had some fun stickers. So these should be coming to a store near you. But let's see what's happening here because I don't understand unless there's, yeah. Okay, so you get two, two sheets? Yes. So you get two sheets of these. And they both, like the gold has a little sparkle to it, but they're flat stickers and I love it. And when I do my boho feel theme, I have these stickers for me. And then I grabbed a set to put in Sarah's uh, Easter basket as well with these um, rainbow stickers. And then I grabbed 
these because I'm obsessed with the Queen of England and all things royalty. And I said, oh, girl, you need to do a royal theme. So I need to get a hold of some stickers of the Queen. I need, I think I saw some on Etsy. I'll have to look around. But for now, I have the crown. I know, they're very appropriate for me. Now, it does appear that there's some glitter fallout. It's like a copper, almost, or golden copper, and there is some fallout, but I don't care. I don't care. Because it's the queen, and I love her. I gotta build my shrine still. I haven't done that. I know, I'm behind, guys. I'm behind, but first we're gonna clean out my pantry. And I'm probably gonna throw most of that crap away. All right, well, I've been blabbering on for 35 minutes, so I hope that you enjoyed. Alex, you say hi. You say hi. Yeah. Debbie, you say hi. No, he ignores me. Wellington doesn't wake up much if I, he's old. Alex will talk to me. Right, buddy? Right? You come over here and say bye. He's like, oh, 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 I'm getting up getting up oh you're all toasty warm baby he loves in front of fireplace yeah you say hi all right everybody you have a great night and we will talk with you later bye